What's up, Peak Timers? Today we're looking at the 12 new for 2024 castings that have been released so far. The first one is the Zinger 21C, and this is from the 2024 A case. This one's in a really, really nice blue color with the gray wheels on there. It's got a big spoiler on the back, nice diffuser at the front of it. It's a pretty cool looking hypercar on here. It's a really, really nice one. It's got like this single seater, but it's uh, another seat back behind it as well. So it's actually a two seater. So it's an interesting designed car and we're gonna go ahead and throw it right up on our first row right there. And we'll grab our second one, which is this one right here. Monster High Gal Mobile. It's from some sort of TV show. I don't really know the specifics of it. It's not a show that I watch. I think it's a Netflix series of some sort. Interesting color though on this one. It's kind of like a little sports car convertible here. And then it's got like these fins on the back of it. It's like a very classic old style car on the back, but it's kind of interesting. Again, not really my thing, not really my favorite car to collect, but nonetheless, it's the new casting for the lineup and we'll go ahead and throw it just right up there. And then we'll grab our next one, which is this one right here, which is the punk rod. There's the bottom right there. You can see that. And then we've got this one in a matte finish. And it's kind of like a normal car in the front. And then it's got like this cut off like indie style car on the back. So it's an interesting design. Obviously it's a fantasy car to the lineup, but it's just, it's very odd looking. Again, I'm not a huge fantasy car guy. A lot of you guys might like this one, but really, not my style. But what do you guys think of the design of it though? It's an overall design standpoint. It's not too bad. It's, in, it's definitely interesting. We'll go ahead and throw that one up on our top row. And those are our three cars from the A case. And then we go to our first car from the B case and that's the Mazda Auto Zam right here. So super jacked up car. I like to call this one the jacked up Mighty K. It looks like the Mighty K casting that we got last couple years and then it looks like it's just all raised up. But this is ginormous. Like these wheels on here are huge. And it's, these gotta be the biggest wheels that I've seen on a mainline casting from Hot Wheels. Super interesting looking, very cool. I, I don't know what they're gonna do with this casting in the future. They gotta release more color variations and stuff a bit, but are we gonna get like a premium one of it with like big real riders on there? That would actually be kind of cool. I don't really know. But this one right here, I would attempt to put it on the row, but it is definitely too big to fit in there. So we're actually just gonna just put it right down there and just rest it on the bottom. And we'll go to our next one right here. And it is the Proton Saga, a very, very popular car for all of the enthusiasts in Malaysia. It's a very popular car in Malaysia. It's an interesting car. It's kind of to us in North America. It just looks like a normal four door car. It doesn't look like anything special. So to us in North America, I don't really see the hype of it, but you know what? I do highly respect all the people in Malaysia that do really like this car and really wanted it to come to the lineup. And you know what? It's definitely great for them to have that. So it's cool that they've added that to the lineup. So there is your Proton Saga. And you know what? We'll put that one up on its own in the first row right there. And then we've got our next one right here. And this is Drift in Break. And there's the bottom of it right there so you guys can see. And this one, it basically looks like like a, a muscle car with the, the shooting brake style back end on it. So kind of like the wagon style back end on it. It's definitely kind of an interesting design. It's a fantasy car, of course. It's got a big engine that see through on the hood right there and it just Cool wheels on here as well. It's, I don't know, I, I'm really, I'm unsure about this car. I'm unsure if I like it. As a fantasy car standpoint, it actually does look kind of cool, but I, I'm not really a big fantasy car guy, but nonetheless, it is definitely a cool design. So we'll go ahead and put that one up in the middle right there, and we'll go on to our next one. And so those are A case, B case, and then we've got C case new casting. This obviously being a B case casting as well, just doesn't fit. And this one is the Batman and Robin Batmobile. So you guys can see it on the bottom right there as my camera focuses, there we go. Batman and Robin Batmobile, you can see the name of it. And there it is. We've gotten a lot of different Batmobiles to the lineup from Hot Wheels. And yes, this is another one, but you know what? This one actually, I kind of like, I kind of like it. It's like a modern designed Batmobile 
that is kind of like got that retro style to it. It's a really cool looking one. It's hard to explain, but I think this is definitely a better Batmobile than ones that we've seen previously. And we'll go ahead and put this one up right there for our C case row. It just barely fits in there, but that's okay. And our next one is the mustache. This one is a super interesting casting. It's got one very unique feature. Here you guys can see the bottom. I always like to show the bottom right there so you can see it. But one very unique feature on this one, it's got this little piece that folds out right here. And that is a mustache comb. So you can, if you have a mustache, you can use this as a comb. So you can carry the Hot Wheels car around and have a mustache comb right there. So, but other than that, it folds up into the car nicely. It's got some nice blacked out wheels on there with a the chrome lip, big exhaust on the side of it. And on the front end, obviously you just see like the big hinges on the front end of it because of the hinge of that comb. But nonetheless, it's, I like it. I think for a fantasy casting, this has got to be my favorite one this year so far, just, just because of the uniqueness of what it does with that fold out piece right there. Go ahead and put it right up top on the middle row right there. So for that's our C case car. And then our next one is the HW T-Rex Ultimate Transporter. When I first got this car, I thought it was just some sort of weird fantasy car that looks like a dinosaur. And then a few people in my comment section actually explained it to me what exactly it is. So they actually made this transporter as a Hot Wheels transporter for one in 64 scale cars, but then they downscaled it into a one in 64 scale size and then made it into the one in 64 lineup. So this is actually made after a transporter. I'll put that up on the screen right now so you guys can see what it looks like. So you can see the differences and kind of compare it. But definitely interesting that they've done that. I don't know if they've ever done that before. They might have a long time ago, but it's definitely very, very cool that they've done that. And I don't know, what do you guys think? Is it a good ode to our big one, our, our, our higher scaled one, or is it, just look a little too small. You guys tell me in the comment section down there, but we'll go ahead and put that one on our C case lineup. So A case, B case, C case, and then we've got our D case, our new D case cars. There's three of them and I have not opened them and we will open them right now. So our first one is the 87 Audi Quattro right here. Very, very nice one in red. And this is, yes, a new casting for 2024. This is from the HW Turbo lineup. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. And there it is. So different from our other Audi Sport Quattro that we've had, we've had lots of different color variations of that Audi Sport Quattro, although this one just does look very, very similar. It looks like it's got a little bit more of a hatchback on it than the Audi Sport Quattro, but I feel like it just, it's too much of the same of the out, other Audi that we've had. I'd, li I'd like to see some maybe different Audi castings, but that's just me. I know a lot of the Audi fanboys are gonna be like, you know what, hey, we love that they've made it and it's awesome. So you know what, if that's you, then there you go. This one, this one's for you, but we'll go ahead, put that one up. That's our D case row. And uh, interesting enough, every car from the D case row is red. We've got the 2023, Ram 1500. All right, let's go ahead and open it up right here. And there it is, nice big Ram on there. You can see the nice big wheel tire combination. It's got the nice Hot Wheels logo on the back end right there. It's got a big sunroof on the top. It's got those bars on the side of it. And look at the big Ram on the front end of it as well. Just a super, super cool truck. I like these Rams. I think they're pretty cool. I think they've got like a good presence as far as like the raised upness of them. I think it looks beasty and meanly. I don't know, <laughs> probably the wrong choice of words for it, but I think they're pretty cool and I do like these Rams. So we'll go ahead and we'll put that Ram right up there in the middle. And then we've got our last new casting so far for 2024, and it is the Vespa 90 SS Super Sprint 1966 from the Factory Fresh series. And of course, yes, it is in red, just like I said. So let's go ahead and pop this one open. If you're a Vespa fan, this is really, really cool because I don't know, when's the last time we saw a Vespa in the Hot Wheels lineup? Or have we seen a Vespa in our Hot Wheels lineup? But there it is in that nice red color right there and you can see it all around. Uh, this one, I, like, it's just, I don't know. What do you guys think of this one? What do you think of the Vespas in the lineup? What do you think of the motorbikes in the lineup? Do you think the motorbikes belong in the lineup? Do you wanna see more motorbikes in the lineup? I mean, this one's been kind of like a scooter slash motorbike, but they've done a pretty good job on it. I think it does look pretty nice, like for a Vespa, but 
it's not really my style of casting. So we'll go ahead and we'll throw that one up top right there. And it does stand up nicely in our little case. And what do you guys think? There they are. There is, here, we'll pull this one up. We've got our Mazda AutoZam, but there is all of the castings for 2024. You guys, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think so far for 2024 castings? Are you impressed or are you disappointed? Which one's your favorite one? Comment down below and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.